everyone, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create this look. If you want to learn how to do this, please continue watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video to help me raise awareness and funds for my charity. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. So today I'm going to do a DIY how to style your hair with hot rollers in full detail. So I'm going to roll the hair first and let you see what I do, okay? So this is my natural hair after it's being washed and air dried so you can see that it's very uh, frizzy uh, not smooth you can barely see my layers because when the hair is not styled it's very flat and it doesn't show the layers so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put these in hot rollers to bring out the texture of my hair and to make my hair look a lot more shiny so first it doesn't have to be perfect okay so this is how the back of my hair looks. I'm going to part it in half. Okay. And then you are going to need to brush the hair. So use a brush to brush the hair. So brush the hair from bottom and then work your hair up. Make sure your hair is 100% dry when you're doing any kind of heat on your hair. I'm going to randomly section the hair into quarters like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here I am combing the hair all the way up. The reason why I am combing the hair all the way up is to add volume to the top. So over directing the hair, I am going to place the roller near the end, okay? one hand holding the rollers and the other hand I am rolling the ends of the hair into the rollers like this okay so once I put all the ends in the hair which you will have some sticking out I'm gonna roll the hair down so that the hair can cover the ends okay so as you roll the hair will cover the ends and then keep rolling Try to keep it 90 degree off the head like this, and then you can clip it, okay? And again, doesn't have to be perfect. Section the hair out, comb the hair all the way to the top. So what we are doing here is that we're over directing, setting the hair. So by you over directing the hair like this, it will give a lot of lift and volume to the roots. So before you put on the hot rollers, if you have very uh, flat roots, you can also spray root lifter or um, styling mousse to keep the style. So did you see that? I place the roller near the ends of the hair with one hand, then use the other hand to roll the ends of the hair into the rollers. So after that, I'm gonna roll the hair so that it covers the ends that I just put in. Okay, try to tuck all the ends of the hair inside the rollers. Then you're gonna use a clip and clip it. Okay. So with the bottom, you do the same thing, but you do not need to lift it up high because it wouldn't make a difference anyway. Okay. So hold one hand, place near the end, use this hand to roll the ends of the hair inside the roller. So as I'm doing that, I'm also using the other hand to roll the rollers up. So by doing that, the new hair, which is here, will cover the ends, okay? One more time. Make sure you brush the hair before you roll it so that you're not setting any knots or tangles. So the end, okay, one hand hold the rollers, one hand hold the hair, then use the hand that you hold the hair, roll all the ends of the hair inside the rollers, okay, like this. So as you're rolling it like that, you're going to move the hair up and then just tuck 
the ends of the hair inside the hair as it rolls up. So that way, the ends of the hair are being set with the hot rollers, just like that. And then for the, these little guys right here, if it's bothering you, you can either uh, blow dry it with a round brush to give it a bit of a bangs, or if you want to get rid of them, just clip them up like this, because what you're doing is you're lifting the roots here so that when you let this down, it will fall nicely, okay? So that is how I set the hair in hot rollers. Sit for about a few minutes. Uh, the longer you let it sit, the better because the hair needs to cool down. So what is with hot rollers? Hot rollers look like this, okay? So it comes in a setting like this. The brand that I have right here is called Babyless Pro Nano Titanium, okay? And this is the travel size that they made. Uh, they don't make them anymore, but you can get anything similar to about an inch and a quarter. Okay, and they come with these clips, okay, which I find is a lot more durable and it holds the hair a lot better than the metal ones that they have, like a half a circle metal one. I don't find they hold very well. So this is what it looks like, okay. You plug it in and it heats up. So when it's red, it's heated and when it's not, obviously it's off. So when you plug it in, the hot rollers is hot. So the hot rollers are made with velvet, okay? And it has these metal heater here so that when you place this inside, it heats up the whole roller. So the difference between this and Velcro rollers is that if your hair is short, then I would recommend Velcro rollers like a pixie cut because the Velcro rollers, um, I find that on long hair because of the Velcro, it tends to break the hair. So therefore I personally don't like to use the Velcro rollers on longer hair. I like to use more of a smooth velvet fabric to set the hair. And what happened with the hot rollers is that when you put it on your hair, um, even though it's hot, but it's still touchable, see? So the velvet enables you to touch the hair and there are these plastic outlines. Um, it does not burn the hand, so it is like a bit warm, hot, but it's not burning hot, okay? So the point of this is that when you place it in your hair, it's hot, and then as it cools down, the hair follows shape. So think about it, when you blow dry your hair at home, um, it doesn't last as long as when you do in the hair salon because the hairstylist actually blow dry the hair, smooth out the hair, and then they hold it for a few seconds so that it sets, and then they take out the brush. At home, because we are in a rush, you just style it, so you didn't let a chance for the hair to set. What does set mean? When the hair is being changed either by water or heat, uh, the hair change its texture. So therefore, when you put your hair in hot rollers or in with heat, it helps to change the texture of your hair. Now, in order for it to last, it has to stay there and then cool down. So because of the hot rollers not being as hot as the flat iron, not being as hot as the curling iron, it's less harmful actually. Because those of you who have hair that are so fragile that it cannot withstand heat, then hot rollers will be your best friend. So my hair, I color it a lot. So by me flat ironing it and using like curling iron heat, because usually they are about 450 degrees, right? Um, it's a lot of heat on your hair because boiling point is temperature is already 100 so you can imagine how 450 a degree would be able to do on your hair so it does dry your hair over time so again to each his own if you have to use it you have to use it but if there's an alternative then I rather go with the healthier uh, gentler method so I use hot rollers every day and even though it is heated it is uh, cover to protect my hair as well as the heat is not too strong. So because the heat is not too strong, I set it, I put it in my hair, it's set and then it has a chance to cool down into the shape that I want, which is nice and bouncy, kind of wavy, flipped in the ends. So that's the purpose of it. And by it setting like this, it saved me so much time and so much pain from styling and you know blow drying it's just exhausting so usually uh, what i do is that i wash my hair 
and then I would sit in front of a heater, like an airflow heater. Um, if you want to see a video on that, leave me a comment below. I can do my hacks for you to see. So I sit in front of the um, heater for it to dry while I'm answering my emails. So honestly, 10 minutes blow drying your hair takes forever, but if you're texting or emailing, then it goes by very fast. So I use that to distract me. Um, so I sit in front of the heater and then my hair will dry. So once it's 100% dry, so please, please remember that when you are styling your hair with heat, it has to be 100% dry. Because if not, that moisture, that wetness, that dampness that's in the hair, it will not take the setting. If you are blow drying and using a round brush and styling while it's damp, then that's a different story because at that point you are molding and brushing the hair and that is air flowing. The hot air is not like flat ironing hot of 450 degrees, right? If you're using heat like hot rollers or flat iron or curling iron or any wand for that matter, any dry heat, then you need to have your hair 100% dry for it to take, okay? So the worst thing you can do to your hair is flat iron it when it's wet or damp. The worst thing you can do to your hair is when it's damp, you're curling it. So please don't do that. It really breaks and kills the hair as well as it won't take. So usually I just set my hair and then I go do my makeup or eat my breakfast or get changed. And then it just sit on my hair until I leave the house. And sometimes if I'm in a rush to go to work, I literally drive in my car with this and then get to work and just take it out. So, you know, our parents' age, my grandmother, my mother, they use hot rollers all the time because back then flat iron and curling iron wasn't around. So therefore they use hot rollers, right? So it's very popular and you know what? What works stays forever. So hot rollers is my go-to everyday hairstyling tool. And yes, I do wash my hair every day because I have overactive suspicious glands and it's just so oily my scalp so I have to wash it every day. So therefore imagine if I have to flat iron it or curl it with a curling iron every day how dry my hair would be. And if I don't style it my hair look like a frizz ball so there's no option. I have to style it regardless so therefore I try to use the best safe healthy method possible which is the hot rollers. Now those of you who have hair that are like me, over processed, colored hair, this would work great on you. Um, if you have any type of hair that is a bit wavy, uh, medium texture, this would work great on you. Um, this will not work great on you if your hair is super curly, uh, if it's uh, wiry, if it's coarse. Um, again, you may need to smooth it out with a round brush first and then set it with this to make it long lasting if that makes sense. So this hot roller you can use for any type of hair, but it work, it will work better on certain hair than others. Again, to each his own, this is what works on me and I'm happy to share with you, but you need to try to know. Um, you can buy these on beauty supply store, on eBay or Amazon. Um, you just have to shop around or you can use uh, Conair, whatever is out there. Um, you can try it and see if it works. But for me, I use the Babyliss because it's a professional brand and uh, is reputable. So that is my whole explanation on the hot rollers. Um, I hope that it helps. Feel free to ask me if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them for you. So after about five, 10 minutes, depending on how long I've been talking, um, just to show you that I'm not doing anything else with my hair besides setting in hot rollers. So now I'm going to remove them for you to see. So right here, you can actually see how smoother it looks and the hair has a bit of a wave on the end, which is what I like. And usually this lasts me for a couple of days. If you use a tighter, meaning a smaller hot rollers, then you can get that effect. And bouncy the hair looks, okay? So because I lifted the hair like this, that's why you're seeing there's a cushion under here. And again, if you want it to last longer, you can definitely hairspray it while you're setting the hair. Or if you want to put in some root lifting spray first and then set it, it will definitely hold the hair. 
Usually after I style it, I just use my fingers to run it through. You can brush it with a brush, but then it'll just get a little bit uh, fluffy. So I just like to use my fingers to play around. So you can see how nice it makes my hair looks. Okay. And see, remember when I put my hair in a clip, it helps to hold the hair so that when I take my hair out, um, it blends in with the rest of my hair. So you can see how nice and full my hair looks with the hot rollers and you can part it in any way you like, the side. So with this hair look, I really look like my mother, like back in the days when she was in Vietnam and she used to use those cool rollers uh, to put in her hair. So cool rollers are the rollers that has no heat. So it's basically the same thing as the uh, this one, but it's more of like a sponge and they roll it and they let it sit for hours. But that is just too long. With the heated one, it's just a lot faster. And definitely the volume lasts until the next day. So if you sleep on this, um, the next day it'll just get looser, but it'll still look really nice. So I'm just gonna turn around for you to see. So you can see with the hot rollers, it just bring out all of the textures in my hair, all of the layers that I cut in it. When I didn't put it in the rollers, you can see how flat and frizzy my hair look. But now it looks like I just went to the hair salon and had someone blow dry my hair for 45 minutes. This was just done with the hot rollers for like 5-10 minutes. So you can see how beautiful and shiny it brings out the texture of my hair. All of the layers that I cut in my hair, you can see it now because of the hot rollers. So therefore, those of you who are looking for an alternative from like blow drying and round brushing your hair every day, um, I highly recommend the hot rollers. Again, it's very cute. Uh, it looks like you went to a hair salon every day. It's inexpensive and it's very easy to do. And then usually if you like, you can put a cute clip here. So with this, you can leave it down like this or you can put a clip I usually like just to put a nice little clip there. So people think that you have to do this with the curling iron, but you don't. You can definitely achieve this with the hot rollers. Um, again, another thing that I want to point out is that you cannot get this by perming the hair. So a lot of people ask me uh, when they see my hair curly like this, they think that it's through perm. So I have a lot of people asking me that they want to perm their hair like this and no, this look cannot be achieved by just perming the hair. You can't just perm the hair and wake up and go because it does not have the same effect. If you see naturally curly hair, once you brush it, um, it's very frizzy. So therefore you have to put product in it, you have to diffuse it, you have to style it. That is the same thing if you were to perm your hair. Obviously, if you perm your hair with a bigger rod, then it's less, you know, ringlet, it's less tight curl, but it does not give you the same effect of shine like this. This has to be done by heat. To achieve this look, it's either by curling iron, hot rollers, or blow dry with a round brush. This does not work if you were to perm your hair. You will not get the same results. So out of blow drying with a round brush, curling your hair with a hot curling iron, or using hot rollers, I prefer to use the hot rollers to achieve this look. So I hope that that explanation really helped you understand the difference between perm and hot rollers. Um, if you find that this is bothering you and you wanna get rid of that, then what you can do is that you can also put it up like this, okay? So in order to create that volume fullness, rather than me flattening the hair, I just gently Okay, I just gently kind of pull it back like this softly and still give that a little bit of a volume. And from there, I pin another bobby pin in the hair like this. Okay, so this is for those of you who work in an office and you don't want to have hair dangling on your face. You can definitely style it like this. I find it's very cute. It's off your face. Um, it looks very sweet. Okay. 
And now I'm going to show you how to do a nice, simple French braid on the side to add to this hairstyle. So I'm just taking small sections. So the smaller the section you take, the more detail your braid will be. The bigger section you take, the less detail, okay? So if you want to see more detail, then take smaller sections. So that's a very cute braid that you can do just to add in a bit of detail. And then I use a bobby pin or any pin that you like to secure it. So in order to secure the hair, I like to do a crisscross. So like this. So I pin one up and then I pin the opposite. So that's another detail that you can do to the hair that I find that's really cute. So that is my video on how to style your hair with hot rollers and just a few little styling tips for you. And I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you do like this video or like more video like this, please give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, and help me raise awareness and funds for my charity. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Have a good day. Bye.